Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm gonna try to get outside here in a few minutes to uh, put this fuel pump on my John Deere 112. <laughs> it's a 1974. Um, I think this is the right one. It calls for that engine. It's a Kohler uh, 301. The 301 series so uh, comes with the gaskets and everything so it should be should be ready to go I'm gonna point you down here let's see if I can prep anything before I get out there I mean the outside of them you know are pretty much the same just uh, some of these are different it'll run on a cam or something and that's how it pumps just like a car uh, most of them nowadays they the fuel pumps run on a pulse system so it'll run into the crankcase or into the intake or something like that that makes it pump it's a pulse pump uh so like monkeys is that way i've got another pump out back i think it's a good pump but it's a pulse pump i just didn't feel like drilling any holes in anything you know like the block or anything like that to get a pump so i just went ahead and got this it was like 10 bucks so free shipping all right so let's um let's go ahead and check this out we'll open this up and see what kind of parts we got and i'll tell you why i'm going to try to get outside here in just a second stick around okay so i put you on this napkin here not you but this on the napkin so it's a little bit easier to see um, like I said we won't know until I pull the old one off if this is the right one or not uh, these kind are all pretty much the same up here in this part and this is what would be different on it but it calls for uh, like I said it's 301 series it calls for supposed to call for this pump now, I'll tell you why I'm gonna try to do this the reason why, why I'm going to try is see the heat index feels like 102 now yesterday it was uh, 108 in my area real feel uh, they actually had warnings not to go outside yesterday so I didn't <laughs> alright so let's go ahead and open this up make sure we got everything here I'm sure the other one's toasted. Um, now these, here's the gasket that goes on here. It'll go in there like that, or it's got this gasket. We'll use whatever one the uh, tractor's got on it. Either one will work, I'm sure, but um, whichever one it has on it, that's the one we'll use. Now, <clears throat> I am not sure what this is for. But I am sure that it doesn't go on mine. Uh, so, it's got two different size, well, let's see, three, no, there's these two what they do is they'll go they'll clip into here I gotta figure out which size I need so I think mine is just pretty much like this okay and these are for the washers that go on the back side here for your bolts that's where those go um, yeah mine I'm pretty sure both of them come straight up. I think the line comes in and down. It doesn't matter. It tells you. You can't mix it up. There's arrows there. So you're going to come in here and it's going to come out there. Um, but like I said, I need to. Um, these just pop in. You just push them in there. And that's the clip that holds it. It clips right around this right there that little clips in there and that's what and there's the little o-rings that keep them from leaking um but i'm not sure which ones 
like I said, there's different size sizes here. I'm not sure what size I've got. Um, I gotta look at the line because I changed the original line out on it. So, and I'll, it's also got like this uh, 90 here, kind of like a 90. It's not a, a 90, but. Um, may go like that. I'm not sure, but well, once these are in here, you know, they're they're pretty much tight. And these, if you can see, these teeth here, and then the teeth on these, right there. See those teeth right there by my thumbnail? They lock inside of here, and that that just keeps them from you know turning around and coming out getting loose whatnot so let's go outside and see if uh, uh, we can get the other the other one off if we can that'll be super <laughs> I mean I know we can but let's just see how hot it's gonna be it's not good for anybody especially a, a heart patient <laughs> to be in this kind of weather so um, but I'm gonna try to do this it shouldn't take that long I'll get you set up out there I'm going to go out first to see what kind of tools I need. That way I should have everything right there and ready to go. This is a how-to, so um, if this is the wrong pump, then you know I'm going to have to wait a couple days, but I'll still put it in this video. So let's get outside and see what we got. Okay, now like I said, see mine are both pointed directly straight up. <laughs> so down underneath here, there's two, two bolts that are kind of hard to get a uh, to get a tool on it but this is aluminum so I'm thinking this may be original let's go let's see if we can get this off of here there we go and I got the wrong size well I got a half inch on there I think it's 7 16 I tried to 7 16 but I couldn't get it to go on there so that happens I can bring the whole toolbox out here and still not have what I need now it came loose let's go ahead and take it out and see I'm out back because there's a little bit of shade here and it being a John Deere I don't like John Deere's but I do like anything vintage and antique so they don't give you enough room I don't want to drop it because I'll never find it let's see if we can get the other one loose I don't know what that thing is I've never seen that before in my life that kind of a bug I can get this one out I'll see if I got the right it's just so tight in there I'll show you what I mean once I get this out of here how close it is now I like hex head bolts better than uh, like Phillips but this is a case where I think a regular screw head like a Phillips would be a lot better because there's just no room and plus remember these are put on before the engines put on the damn tractor so hi right, let me get a 7 16 okay I brought out two brought out a uh, deep well and shallow let's see It is a 7 16 It just wouldn't fit when it was all the way up in there. So it tricked me. There it is. Alright, now let's try to get... Man, where can I put this so I don't lose it? On top there. Now let's see if we can get this one off. I 
wish I had some regular screws that would fit that. I would put them in instead. The kit didn't come with any any hardware. Pull this off of here. Okay, it looks like it. Yeah, that looks like it. And it's got the paper gasket. Um, but as you can see, maybe. See that bolt? Look how close that is. Plus the screw. Right. Let's go in the house. It's hot. Okay, so guys, I was just telling you a whole bunch of stuff and I was not recording. I just talked to you for about five minutes. Okay, so what I'm, see these screws that go down into the top here, okay? I hold this together. Down here on the bottom, there's one there. See it sticking out, sticking out farther than the other ones? That also makes it hard to get on that bolt. And that's the one we had most trouble with. See? And there's not much room there. You can see that bolt, the end of that bolt sticking up there. So when you're there and with the angle of that frame, you know, it's hard to get it on straight. So, okay, but this is, so like I said, these, these two are the same size. They're too small and I don't need that angle anyhow. Now these two, this is the perfect size I need right here. It's the same size as what's on this old one here. Perfect size. Fits. Now the one, this one here that I need is a little bit too big. Now this is rubber hose. I can put it in hot water and it'll slide right over there with no problem. I'll put it on the out end of it. But right now, what I've got to do, and I'm going to be using this gasket. Because that's the gasket that is with this. This is flat. This has got grooves around it. Uh, what it'll do is it'll leak oil there. And if you have this kind of pump, if you're getting a lot of gas smell, if, you're, if your engine's running fine, it's not flooding out or anything, if your engine's running like it's supposed to, but you're getting oil or gas smell in your oil, when you check your oil, you smell gas, this could leak in here, and when it does, it leaks out here, and that goes directly into your crankcase. So keep, you know, keep that in mind. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to... I'm going to go get some Vaseline and we're going to pop these on here before I go outside. Still debating on which one of these to use. I think I'll use this. I might use them both. I mean, it, it won't hurt anything to use them both. I think I will. I'll just use them both. Shouldn't hurt anything. Let me get some Vaseline and um, we'll lube these up and we'll get them put in here. Like I said, they've got to go straight up like that. Kind of like dual stacks, which that's what I want to put on it eventually. So, yeah, we'll put the smaller end in the intake and the larger end on the outtake. Let me get something to lube these up with. Okay, so I'm just going to use some of this. It'll be all right. Won't hurt a thing. All right, now. Let's try to... I have put them... I have put these in my vise before pushed them both in but I also have had them slip and break before so ok 
Okay, it started. Make sure we got that right. Straight up. Straight up, man. Same thing to this side. Try to get them. That one's kind of back a little farther than what I wanted, but. So that one went in perfectly. This one. It's in there. And there we go. Now there shouldn't be any leaks there. I don't feel like this one's right. It doesn't look right. This one's like even. This one's out just a little bit. Yeah, that should be. Should be it. Alright, now we gotta brave the weather and go out and uh, put this thing on. So, uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna be long enough for the long one. That's why I got this little end here so I can connect it up to another one if I need to. Alright, so let's go out. <sighs> let's try to get this thing on. Okay guys, so while I was waiting to cool down, what I did was put just a little bit of RTV, black RTV, where you at? <laughs> right there, just to help hold that so it doesn't fall down because you'll never see it if it does if that gasket falls down all right so let's uh go ahead and try to get this one started kind of a pain not having room to work you know i mean Like I said, I'd love to take one engineer, especially one that claims he's the best, and bring him out and say, here, put this on for me. Put this part on for me. See how well he engineers the next one. Just help holding the gasket there. Find a hole. There we go. Now it's just a matter of tightening this up. I've got this will go into the end of here like this. I would use my impact driver, but since this is plastic, I like to do it by hand. Come on see that's that's the stuff I'm talking about right there guys show me that engineer all right so I got to get that off of there all right let me get off get that off there I'll tighten the other one and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the fuel lines okay so since this is going to be hard to go over go over top of that what I'm going to do so I got some water here I put some boiling water in here and as you can see I got it too hot I'm just going to dip this in here for a second and I'm I've got it dipped in right now dipped in there then blow it out a little bit 
and then this will go right over top of there and as it cools down it will swell around it and keep it tight just like that so on there now I'm gonna put it on the top one which I don't need to do that too because it's the right size and there we go like I said that's already I cannot pull that off of there real easy so now I know you can't see much but up here I got this hose and I'm gonna run it down in here on the other side of this coil and I'm gonna put this on that bottom part and it's on there so we are hooked up under here see we're all hooked up our tubes coming up there coming up there this one's into the carburetor the top one now I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to leave it long since we got a pump. That's not going to be a problem. I'm going to leave it long because my gas tank that I repaired, uh, it held except the ring around the top where the cap screwed on. It rusted off so I can't put a cap on it. So what I've done, I always like to keep a filter in here. Got that on there. This is just a vent. That's why that predator tanks up there that's the best I can do right now um, I can put it down in here but if I do that if I put it down in here it wants to crush my line so let's watch here I'll zoom you in a little bit let's turn our fuel on yeah see the fuels coming through that all right See it's filling up. A little bubble there, that's an air bubble. Now, this is a vent, I don't even know if it's working. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now our vent's working. I got this on the charger. Like I said, that's a battery out of the truck. Well, the yeah, the Toyota. So let's go ahead and see if this thing will start up. Let me move you back here. I'll put you on this John Deere so you're not rattling off all over the place. Let's see if this will start. Can't remember which way is choke on this thing. Switch it loose. I think my switch just died on me. Okay, that's weird. Oh, it's going too far. this problem before or that problem No fuel coming out of here. The only tank I've got and it's got issues.
Alright, well, let me do some checking. It pumped it up to the carburetor, so I must not have spark. Let me uh, check my points, because I don't have a points cover on there. Let me run a piece of, of uh, sandpaper across them. We'll see if that's the issue. Okay, guys, I think I found a problem. The plug wouldn't spark when I opened and closed the point. So I took another plug out of something I have over here. Stuck in there. Well, I tried it first, and it sparked. So now, I got to put in there. Let's see if this thing will start up and run. Okay, let me see why my throttle's not working. It's working some, but not right. Let me check that out, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, I found the problem. My throttle cable comes right up behind there. There's my throttle cable. When I move it, just the whole thing's moving. Now, right down in here, Hard to see that right there, right in the dead center of your screen. That, see it? There, I turned it. That, supposed to go where that bolt goes that I stuck in there. So, <laughs> that's why my throttle wasn't working. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that today, I am just too hot, guys. Besides, I got another package in there I need to check out and see what it is. I don't know who it's from or anything. So that'll be the video following this one. I gotta get my stuff picked up. I'm gonna leave it on the battery charger for a little bit, but yeah, I sprayed starting fluid in there. I know you're not supposed to do that. It it hurts them and whatever. Done it for years. Never blew an engine up for doing that. But shot some of that in there. wasn't doing nothing. I was like, what the hell? So I stuck my little you know, wherever it went. Ah. Uh, here it is. I stuck this in there and into the spark plug wire and I got shocked because I wasn't holding it right. It's a shocking experience guys but anyway uh, so it's so got to be that plug. Sure enough it was the plug so let's see if it'll start up again real quick. Okay I don't know why I quit recording but Found out why my, I don't know what you got. Found out why my 
throttle's not working. Right back in here, my throttle cable goes, there's my throttle cable, goes over to the governor. That thing right there is supposed to be hooked on to where that bottom bolt is down there. <laughs> and that's what holds the, holds the cable in place. So that's why when I'm going like this, nothing's happening. The whole cable's moving. So, I had a, I sprayed some starting fluid in there and uh, nothing happened. I was like, well, I know you're not supposed to use it, whatever, guys. But, so, I was like, should have fired. Points was firing, so I thought, see that, that spark plug cable don't look the greatest, but it's on there pretty snug. So I thought, maybe it's that. So I stuck this in there. And I got sparked. <laughs> no, I didn't get sparked. I got sparked. So I knew it was getting sparked. So I pulled a spark plug out of my old edger over there. And I stuck it on there. Opened and closed the points with my finger. And it sparked. So there you go. So anyway, guys, I got to go. I got another package in there. I've got to open up. Cut my hand. And uh, I don't know who it's from. It might be another review thing, I'm not sure, but that'll be the video following this one. I'm not going to fix that right now. It's just too hot. It's like 105 now or 106, I think it was. Real feel index. Well, if it's real feel, if that's what it really feels like, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so I'm going to shut this fuel off, let it run out of gas, and then... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, check out Monkey 1000's video. She's going getting ready to put up now, or I think she is putting it up now. Um, she got fan mail today from uh, Dennis Hallbecker's wife, Glowy. She's going to have links in the description to both their channels. And so I don't want to give a spoiler alert or anything like that. No spoilers. Just go check her out and you'll see what they sent her. Very nice of them. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. I got to go and get cooled down. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.